Okay, today we're going to be looking at the Samsung PM961 Polaris and we're going to be looking at the 128GB version and the main reason being is I tend to find they're usually a little bit slower 128GB versions than the other ones but uh, Samsung doesn't mention it being any slower they quote, well depending on where you look up to 2800 all the way up to 3200 megabytes per second for the specific model the product comes OEM package, so it just comes in a little silver bag, so it looks like something out of shady drug deal. Um, but other than that, um, there's not much to say really, because it doesn't come with anything. Uh, the model's no longer even listed on the Samsung website. It's got all the barcodes and everything on the front of it, but that's pretty much it, and the model number as well. Here's some basic information about it. The flash memory type is the Samsung 40 nanometer 3 d TLC NAND. Uh, it is a NVMe 1.1 controller. Um, as I said, maximum is 320 megabytes per second, depending on where you read, and 650 megabytes per second write. Max 4K random read is 360,000. Uh, more max 4K is 150,000. Uh, it's the 2280 form factor, which is obviously M.2 dimensions, is 22. Uh, by 3.73 by 80 millimeters and again it is packaged OEM style so that's pretty much all the information I can find out about it but we'll have a look and go from there but first here's a quick message from our sponsors Okay, first of all let's run through the test system setup. We used our standard uh, machine we usually use for all our testing for things like this. Um, it's basically a Thermaltake level 20 MT case with a Gigabyte B360 Aorus motherboard. It's also got a Gigabyte Aorus 1060 6 gigabyte graphics card, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 3000 megahertz Viper memory. All SSDs were tested as slave drives. Our main drive was a Western Digital Black M.2 SSD. All SSDs tested have been run as slave, so basically they did not have Windows installed on them or anything like that, they just had a basic format. All SSDs also were tested in an M.2 to PCI Express adapter provided by ICASA. That way we got an even test result across the board, no matter if there's been any updates for Windows and motherboards and so forth. No heat sinks were used on the M.2 drives, but I would advise it on some, especially uh, the ones that get hot, which are generally the faster ones like the top-end Samsung 970s and so forth. And while testing, all case fans were disabled, so the fans would not blow over the SSD and affect the temperature results. Okay, so let's have a look at the actual speeds. You can see on the chart here, it didn't perform anywhere near that 3000 megabytes per second they were quoting, uh, and was, uh, well, actually 1745 megabytes per second. Now, I'm wondering if it's to do with it being a small size. I couldn't find any other results online of anyone testing the 128 gigabyte version, so we've got no comparisons, but we tried this directly in the board as well as on our adapter. Uh, the write speeds, though, we did actually find were faster than quoted and running at 862 megabytes a second. So it's a bit of a both, but again, that 862 megabytes per second is still slower than most of the 256 gigabyte SSDs that we've actually tested. So, again, mixed bag. So we did the test again using Atto this time just to make sure. Uh, again, uh, it underperformed, uh, only 1630, um, so 1630 megabytes per second on the read speed, uh, and it actually performed slower than, uh, for example, the Patriot Scorch, which is a lot cheaper uh, and not far uh, in front of the Gigabyte SSD we tested. Um, on the write speed side of things, again it underperformed, it was the, or close to being the slowest NVMe uh, SSD we've tested. Again, this is only 128GB version, but that was why we wanted to test this, because we've found they generally are 
slower but it doesn't mention anything about that anywhere we can find uh, temperature wise it was actually pretty cool it was the coolest uh, NVMe SSD we come across at 45 degrees um, so that's actually pretty good uh, but uh, saying that it wasn't performing as fast as it should so in theory if it was performing at 3000 megabytes per second I would have thought it would get hotter the span of these though are supposed to be a lot longer, but obviously only time will tell if that is true or not. I'm going to say if it's anything like what we've quoted uh, for the speeds, then it could potentially be uh, a lot less than um, you would think. Would I recommend this drive? Don't get me wrong, it's still a good drive-ish. Um, but uh, in comparison to a lot of the others, you can get 256 gig um, SSDs cheaper than the 128 gig. Uh, Samsung and it's not that far off in price in comparison to something like the Evo 970 or something like that so personally I'd spend the money on that rather than this Thanks for watching this video all the way to the end. Don't forget to press the subscribe button over here. That way you'll get all the latest news and all the reviews we do on a weekly basis. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.